takes us from Satara to Open. Yesterday was quite a good day because it ended very well with that leopard sighting. We got back into camp um, just in time. Apparently, if you don't make it to camp at the gate closing time, you get fined. And the fine is 1,500 rand. So it's just something to bear in mind. Maybe a thousand five hundred rand is is worth sitting on a leopard for, Prashin. I think so, but I think <laughs> if you're ten minutes or, or, or fifteen minutes late, I think there's there is some leeway. Yeah, uh, but I wouldn't is. push it with the with these rangers because I mean safety is their first concern. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna um, get to the first intersection and then plot our route, um, and hopefully today's another good day in the park it's starting off looking rather musty there's some uh, low-lying clouds but um, yesterday started off very much the same and then it turned out to be one of those scorches in the african bush yesterday was 30 degrees but yo, it felt even hotter i think the humidity in the kruger is quite high as well compared to like johannesburg where i'm from so yeah, uh, we'll check in through the day and um, if there's any great sightings, we'll uh, update you guys as well.
Okay guys, it's approaching 10 o'clock now and we are approaching the open gate from uh, uh, Satara camp. Uh, we joined the S126 uh, and then the S36 and we came back onto the Satara open road. Lots of birds, not much else actually. A few elephant here and there and a group of buffalo on the S36. But uh, still a good morning, still some nice sh shooting um, with some good light. Uh, the light's gone now, it's, it's gone too harsh. So, you know, if we see anything, it will be tough to get good shots off, but we can still get some record shots. We're just gonna uh, get into open, grab something quickly to eat, uh, a quick snack, and then head back towards uh, Satara on this um, um, 87 uh, Satara open road. Uh, we got some good uh, carmine bee eater shots, um, some good uh, yellow billed hornbill shots, and uh, I got a new kingfisher, which is, well, both of us got the new kingfisher. Prashin hasn't si seen it either, which would be the gray headed kingfisher. And so that means I have one last kingfisher to tick off before I've seen all the kingfishers. In southern Africa and uh, Rasheen has two um, including the um, mangrove mangrove and the, and the half cup I've just got the, the mangrove kingfisher to uh, tick off so you're probably hearing a lot of the wind noise coming through the wind is blowing almost across the car now I think it's just gonna get worse through the day as it heats up and that makes uh, it more difficult for the sightings. So the drive back is probably going to be a bit of a quicker drive. Uh, and we'll be back into camp uh, by about lunchtime, have brunch, and then maybe, you know, just settle in. We're going to do the afternoon drive today, so there's no rush to get back out into the park again. But yeah, so day three so far has been really good. Um, especially for the birding and Prashin and I both enjoy our birding so you know we're not complaining we did see one spotted hyena seemed to be a bit uh, habituated because he was um, sitting on the side of the road and then as soon as the car pulls up he runs to the front of the car um, almost to the driver's side to inspect and then he runs around the car again I suspect it's uh, because he's been fed and uh, he's developed this behavior where he almost begs for food from the passing cars that stop and obviously seeing a spotted hyena on the side of the road and, and not even a full-grown one uh, he's uh, you know a pup a young pup still um, you know it's quite cute so people are going to stop and possibly then be tempted to you know give him something to snack on but that's actually creating um, almost habituated behavior where he's now begging for food from every passing car and that's not good for him because he should actually be out with his um, uh, hyena um, pack or uh, hunting hunting as uh, or scavenging for food as much as he can sorry just seeing a vulture now uh, circling we just want to identify what type of vulture is so we're going to check back um, at some point during the day again uh, we've switched roles now Prashin is the driver and I'm the Uber passenger this is called Uber Wild it's the newest invention from Uber. Uh, they, uh, you call a, uh, you hail a cab, and they pick you up at uh, the entrance gate. And they take you on a tour. So Prashin is taking me on a tour today. 